Hi guys, this is Shuroi from Group 1. So our group project title will be Efficient Use of Harvested Rainwater. The company we have chosen is actually Malaysia Airports Holdings Per Hut. Today we have three presenters, me, Ruwei, Adnan and also Chia Ning together. So you can see that these are all of our group members from Group 1. So we are a group of eight now. Basically, Malaysia Airports Holdings Per Hut is an investment holding company that handled and managed the major airports in Malaysia. So there are some familiar uh, services they have provided. The first one uh, will be airport services and also some duty-free goods and uh, non-dutyable goods. So their core business is actually uh, managing, managing, operating and also maintaining the airports, most of the airports in Malaysia. Back to our project title will be Efficient Use of Harvested Rainwater. Going into this, we actually involve in the triple bottom line, which are people, planet, and also profit. So for people-wise, when we reduce the water clean water consumptions, we actually conserve it to for the departments that needed the large consumptions of water, like hospitals and also firefighters. So other than that, our population growth rate is right now actually accelerating. So we wouldn't wish that the supply is lower than demand. So we have to balance it out from the supply and demand part. So while we are having this harvested rainwater system, we create more opportunities just to uh, ask someone to supervise and also handle the rainwater harvesting system. So when we have lower consumptions, we do cut our utility costs, means that our expenditures will go down and our profits will eventually increase. So the last part is Planet, who provided all these resources, which are limited. So we have to make use of it, of it wisely, to be prepared for like future climate change. We won't know, such as water shortage. So that's all for my part. Right now, I will pass it to our next teammate. Thank you. Thanks, Ruby. I am another fun, and for my part, I'm going to be talking about two things namely the project relevance and the need and second one is the project description so as you can see the presentation is about the sdg proposed let me start by asking what do you think is sdg sdg actually stands for sustainable development goal now malaysian airports uh, holding berhad has various goals but for this project we are going to be focusing more on the sdg 6 that is the sustainable development goal 6 which is also known as the clean water and sanitation. Now, SDG 6 goes beyond drinking water, sanitation, and its hygiene. It also addresses the quality and sustainability of water resources, which are critical for the survival of people and the planet. Now, talking about the environmental benefit, the target 6.1 of the MAHB specifies that by 2030, they want to achieve universal and equitable access um, to the safe and affordable drinking water for everybody. And substantially with this, they want to increase the recycling and safe reuse, reuse globally. Now, as we all know, the best way to conserve and manage water resources is through rainwater harvesting. Rainwater is one of the most direct, fundamental and economical water resources. What is rainwater harvesting and how does it actually work? Rainwater harvesting is the collection and storage of rainwater that runs off from the rooftops, parks and uh, the groundwater. Now you may wonder how does this actually help in airports? Now rainwater harvesting system plays an essential role to reduce flash flooding in the airports and the surrounding areas. It also significantly uh, cuts the cost for the flood control and reduces the damage to the infrastructure. Now, So now you do understand how it is necessary to control the floods and drainage to ensure the normal operation of an airport, right? Airports are suitable for rainwater harvesting at a larger scale because of its institutional and the infrastructural advantages like it has a huge area compared to the cities obviously now let's talk about the objectives of this project now with the growing issue regarding the global warming uh, global warming and the climate change water scarcity and drought has become a serious problem everywhere now mahb has become aware of this problem and is trying to do their part in protecting the earth now, the other purpose of the rainwater harvesting is to use the locally available rainwater to
to meet the other uh, to meet the other water requirements throughout the year without the need of the huge capital investments this would facilitate the availability of uncontaminated water for domestic and industrial work so now let's come to the key activities of this project firstly the water that is going to be used for fire protection must pass the testing to prove that it won't be corrosive or detrimental to the system then secondly comes the volume of the water required for the fire protection it basically depends on various factors namely occupancy design area the discharge water density the flow of duration uh, the types of sprinkle system that is wet or dry and the hazardous classification that is basically on it is based on uh, what type of construction and uh, what is the facility use of it and lastly the rainwater harvesting system can use the rainwater tank of uh, for dual purposes including fire protection now dual service water must keep the water supply separate thank you and that will be for my part now i hand over the mic or, or the screen to my teammate jianing i will continue the following slide project description we have target audience estimated duration and budgeting for the target audience we have employees and stakeholders the employees of malaysia airports holding berhad and stakeholders so all the employees they can enjoy the laundry service while stakeholders may get high profits as the company is able to reduce the water bill hence decreasing expenses for estimated duration is 15 to 30 years system longevity depends on its components and the maintenance is received and for budgeting estimated budget range from 20,000 to 350,000 depending on the size and type of the building. For sustainability plans, due to massive water consumption, MAHB has potential for the implementation of measures that encourage water conservation. As global water constraints increase, there is an increasing drive to satisfy non-portable water demand with water from other sources such as rainfall. Furthermore, airports have a high water consumption rate due to their infrastructure maintenance and operating requirements. Airports may use collected rainwater for operation that do not require portable water like air conditioner and clinic. Airports typically have large roof area for collection rainwater. There is the risk of microbial contamination caused by the phase of animals that has access the catchment areas or water shortage tasks. But airports have strategy for birth control and air fuel vegetation high management. Therefore, Airports have prom location for the construction of rainwater collection and utilization. Last, we have expected result. Reduce the use of multiple water for sanitary purpose at airports and increase the reserve of multiple water. To find more ways and ideas to implement the recycle rainwater to use for other scenarios other than sanitation. Expected long-term result, we have to save more clean water to create a more sustainable planet and encouraging other companies and factories to do the same thing to save water and to head towards a future with a good habit to keep our planet healthy for the future generation effectively reduce the possibility of flaws in the more imperious areas use the water collected for a good cause. So that's all for our presentations. Thank you.